Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, my name is Christina and I would love it if you would hit that subscribe button before you leave here today. So one of the reasons I started my YouTube channel is just to give some tips and tricks along the way throughout your journey and of course to just kind of tell my story. So today part of my story that I wanted to share with you is losing my hair. So like many of you, you might be getting ready to experience chemo or you're in the middle of it or just starting. And one of the things that you will experience during your chemo journey is hair loss, unless you're one of those lucky rare people that don't lose your hair. I definitely did lose my hair. It's starting to grow back. I've been done since October and here it is May and I, so I'm getting a good amount of hair. I started doing this faux hawk because I if I let it go it is curly and it is everywhere so I kind of just take my fingers and kind of style it into a faux hawk to give me a little bit of volume on top of my head and not have it be everywhere because it's definitely coming in curly so this is the front I'll show you the back and uh, I know that they say a lot of times you will get curls when it starts to grow back so that might be something that you are anticipating i've had curly hair my whole life and so it wasn't something i really wanted i was like please let it grow back straight because i've always had to straighten my hair but you know people who have curly hair always want straight hair people who want straight hair want curly hair it's just the way life goes and please ignore this lovely bruise i have on my head no amount of makeup is covering that thing up darn it I'm here to tell you a little bit about losing my hair. I started chemo on August 16th of 2016 and a short 16 to 18 days later is when my hair started really coming out. I would say at about the two week mark it was coming out a little bit here and there but then at the next couple days it was just coming out in clumps. I was hoping that I would last through my whole first round of chemo but I didn't it didn't last very long and I was one of those people that I definitely didn't want to have bits and pieces of my hair keep coming out I didn't want to experience that to where it was just really really thin I said as soon as it starts coming out in big chunks I'm gonna shave it off because I just felt like that would be a little bit less horrendous for me. So I have heard a lot of people when they have really long hair, really long, luscious, beautiful hair, they chop it a little bit short, like shoulder length or even shorter right before chemo. And that's just so that it isn't as big of a blow to them when they start to lose all of their hair. And had I l had really long hair, I would have done that, but I had pretty short hair. It was a little bob. I'll put a little, I'm going to put some little pictures here and there to shine, kind of show you my hair before and then as I shaved it and then as I lost it completely. But when I hit that point where it was coming out in clumps, I just said, you know what, this is it. This is happening today. We're shaving it off. And one of the things that I didn't want this experience to be was something that was sad and depressing because I remember being one of those people that before I was told I had cancer I thought oh my gosh how horrible would that be to lose your hair oh I just couldn't even imagine it and then as I was faced with it I just said you know what I'm gonna take this head on and if there's anything I could encourage you to do is to take it head on and just say, you know what, this is part of my experience, this is part of my journey. Yes, it sucks, nobody wants to lose their hair, but it's part of it. I was definitely one of those people that wanted to take this head on and say, you know, this drug, although it sucks and it has lots of side effects, is going to save my life and so if one of those side effects is losing my hair and that means I can survive a little bit longer here on earth then I was going to take it and it was really awesome because I had one of my really good friends who I went through dental hygiene school with her name's Pam she was up here visiting from Louisiana and we had gone to a, a local Blackberry Festival that day and I said, you know what, I'm a, I want my hair to walk around this Blackberry Festival but when I get home this is coming off. So we went and we had a couple wine slushies which, you know, helps that process along a little bit and came home and I said, get that camera rolling because this is going to be a fun experience. 
And that's definitely something that I wanted was to make it fun and memorable and not something that was sad and depressing. It's just hair. It's gonna grow back. Sure, you might look a little funny bald, but who cares? And I was really concerned about that, don't get me wrong. I told one of my coworkers, I said, I'm worried I'm gonna be one ugly broad with a bald head. I just made the most of it trying to find cute hats and cute wigs or just running around bald. I mean, who really cares? One of the things I did want to talk to you about was care for your head. It is very white. <laughs> it hasn't seen sun in a little while. So when it, when you first lose your hair, it is quite white and sensitive. And you'll find that when you start to lose your hair, you just get this itchy feeling. It just feels like you just want to itch your scalp so bad. It's tingly. And at least this is what I experienced and what I've heard other people experience. And you know it's just any day now that hair is going to be coming out completely. When I started feeling that itchy and tingling feeling, it drove me crazy and that was another encouragement for me to want to finally shave my head. But really quick, I wanted to talk about a few products that helped me with my scalp once I lost all of my hair. It, I felt really dry skin throughout my chemo journey and it's something that I've talked about quite a bit on my channel and helping but your scalp is another thing that you do experience some dryness and some sensitivity with it and I will tell you this jug of coconut oil I got this at Costco and this is USDA, USDA organic virgin coconut oil I use this stuff like crazy. I used it on my head, I use it on my body, I use it on my face, I feed it to my dogs, everything. I even rub this on my dog's fur, but this is just really overall great. And I would just take a little teeny bit of this and rub it on my head and I just really felt like it moisturized, moisturized it and soothed it quite a bit. So one of the things that I did talk about in a makeup tutorial that I talked about with having no hair and being able to blend your foundation into your scalp was using self tanning products and I definitely did that on my head. I'm going to go over a couple of ones that I really like. One of the ones is this one True Blue and this is something you would get at Bath and Body Works. Now this is a gradual tanner so it's a moisturizer and gradual tanner that you rub on your head and over a few times it starts to bronze up a little bit. It's not something that's instant. And then I had, I just really like that one. I feel like it's a definite moisturizer and I'll use that on my body and everything but it was definitely something I used on my head. Another one I really like is this one by Banana Boat. I have it in light medium. I actually self tan with this and then I self tan with this instant and it's on my skin right now. But I don't do this all the time but I definitely would put this on my head every couple of weeks or so just to give me some color if I was going to go around bald. Um, but like I said, this is light medium color and this is something that takes a little while to turn on your skin. It's something that's not instant. But this Jergens Natural Glow Instant Sun, I have this in light bronze. I love this stuff. Now I put on a pair of latex gloves and I rub this all over my body and it is an instant, like just a really nice instant bronze and this was awesome for my head if it was something last minute and I would just kind of rub it around my head and blend it into my scalp and I can't say enough about this product it's definitely runny and you definitely want to wear your gloves when you're doing this or else you're going to get really orange hands and it's really difficult to get out from in between the fingers and things like that so glove up and put some of this on and it'll help you match your foundation into your scalp. Some of the other products that I wanted to talk to you about when your hair is starting to grow back, I did get these really awesome shampoo and conditioners. It's by Viviscal and it's called Thin to Thick and it's a professional uh, product that I ended up getting at a beauty supply place. But they have that and also a Viviscal Professional, I'm trying to show it as much as possible, Thin to Thick Elixir. 
and one of the issues that I had prior to sorry I'm trying to get myself in focus here one of the issues that I had prior to chemo is I had really thin hair and so this was really important to me that I would have something to help thicken my hair and again I know I mentioned it earlier castor oil is something that's supposed to really help with that as well but I often now will even put coconut oil in my hair still I will use this shampoo and conditioner and this elixir every single day to try to get my hair just to come in a lot thicker than it ever was before Another product that I like to use for my hair and it also really helps with nail growth because I have really, really thin nails after my chemo. I, I ended up getting a coat of acrylic over the top of them. I keep them really short just to help strengthen them because they were so thin that they would just rip all the time and it was really painful for me. So I am trying to take biotin at least twice a day. They say it's about 30 micrograms that you can take a day to help with hair growth and nails and just overall health. And for those of you who don't know, biotin is a uh, vitamin B. It's actually B7. And one of the things that I learned about in my nutrition class is that vitamin B, any, any form of vitamin B from B1 to B12, it won't work. If you take it in your body, it won't work unless you take a whole vitamin B complex. So I take a vitamin B complex every day. So I'm getting that extra vitamin B7 in there as well to help strengthen my nail and my hair. When I went to go shave my head, I really wanted to make it a fun experience. And this is something you can do, of course, if you want to, but you don't have to. The person who did most of the shaving was my husband, and he actually had a really good time with it. We were pretty excited when it came down to that moment. And of course, my friend Pam was there being my cheerleader and encouragement. So thank you, Pam, so much for being there. I appreciate it but I really wanted my kids to help shave my head. So I did it, I put it in a little ponytail and thought that they would come in and, and help cut it or shave it, but I think they didn't really want to. I think it was something that was a little bit tough for them, but my niece was there and she said, heck yes, I wanna help shave it. So between my niece and my husband and my friend Pam, we got the job done. But what I did to start with is I shaved just the top or my husband shaved just the top of it and I blacked out a tooth and make my, made myself look like a hillbilly. I'll post a little picture of that. I just thought it would be something that was funny and fun. And then we proceeded to shave the rest of it off, which again, I'll be posting more pictures of that. I have to admit, once it was done, it was quite freeing. My cousin, who also dealt with breast cancer, told me it's almost liberating. And I thought, how could she possibly think that? And once it was done, she was totally right. I mean, how awesome is it to go in and take a shower and you barely, I think I just used soap on my head for quite a while and you just wash and go. You don't have to worry about doing your hair. You don't have to worry about ironing, curling, all these products. I took all of my hair products and I shoved them in the drawer of my vanity and shut it. And I said, you know what? I don't have to deal with any of these hair products for months. And I thought that was pretty exciting because hello, it's expensive and time consuming. My thought is pour yourself a nice big glass of wine or whatever it is you drink, make it fun, shave it off, and just take lots of pictures and video because you're going to want that so much for later on. Just get my head shaved by my mom. So here's my hair. I put it in a little baggie and you can't really read it, but I have the date on there. It's just something I put in my keepsake box. And then this wasn't all my hair. I just kept a portion of it. And I wrote the date 9316 and it says goodbye hair with a big smiley face on it. And again, this might not be something that you're really excited about doing and it might be something that's really hard for you and I just encourage you and urge you to try to make the most of it and make it a fun experience so that you can look back on it and smile instead of look back on it and be sad. 
Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. I really hope that you learned something today with some of these products that I went through. But most of all, I really do hope that I'm offering you some sort of encouragement because I know that losing your hair is really tough and it's not an easy thing to deal with. And I definitely don't wanna make light of that situation. It was something that I wanted to make a fun experience and I really hope that you do too. And if not, that is okay. And if you are subscribed to my channel already, thank you very much. And if not, I would love it if you do. I have a lot more videos that I really want to bring to you. And if you do like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. And with that being said, I hope you have a fantastic day. Thanks for stopping by. See you next time. Bye-bye.